Hi guys, it's me again Rose from the Philippines. Welcome to the 265th episode of Gunchillera, a show and tell of crochet and craft related items. So today is April 19, 2020. It's a Sunday. Uh, this marks the end of the fifth week of the enhanced community quarantine here in the Philippines. So welcome. Uh, I have shown you from my last podcast, the Tumblr holders. I have made nine of them and made the body parts. And ever since that time, I have added up uh, three more. So now I have uh, 12 of the crochet character Tumblr holders. And that's gonna be the project, the project or the finished objects that I'm gonna show you today. I'm gonna share with you guys. So the first one, you have seen this one. And this is the minion inspired one. When you put a tumbler holder inside, so this is a tumbler holder that has 500 ml to it. So when you put it inside, it looks like this. And for the band or for the strap, I have used treble crochet back and forth for 10 rows. And as you can see, it stretches. So, it's okay if it's a bit short at the start. So, this is the first one. The second one that I have made ever since the last time you saw me is the Minion one. I is the Spongebob inspired one. So, that is how it turned out. It has uh, plenty of features to it like the big eyes, the long nose, uh, the smile with two front teeth. Uh, the line for the shirt and the tie and it also has some lines on its pants and some eyebrows so this is the second one and uh, these two are i have made uh, projects with this uh, two characters here from before if you have seen my very first podcast i was working on some uh, matching bonnet and booties for kids that is inspired from these two characters here okay, so the third one the third and the fourth one that i have made are the hello kitty ones so for this ones it has two lines of um design for the body part of the tumbler and for the face i have made some oblong shape face for it and I put some pointed ears and I'm quite glad that I have some made up bows lying around from my stash that I incorporated to this and because I am running low on the red yarn I'm quite glad to have it and I have incorporated it here I use a uh, mercerized cotton thread for the eyes and the nose so that is how it looks like this is the third and the fourth one from the collection the fifth one is the raymond so this is how it turned out it just made the face and the eyes for it and for uh, the eyes i use um, a button for it so that is how it looks like the sixth one is sim invader sim so for invader sim this is how it looks like i may have seen me made a tunisian crochet out of this character here uh, and for this one it has two big eyes with a very small dot for the pupil so instead of putting safety eyes because i wouldn't be able to do that uh, i just made some solomon knot using acrylic yarn so it is much more appropriate for this character is so the solomon knot is a very useful uh, skill to have i have used it for the uh, fruit slices coin purses so it's very useful so for this character i thought at the start that it wouldn't go well together or the features won't go well together but after finishing it i'm seeing uh the character as it unfolds <laughs> so this is invader sim and this is how it looks like with the tumbler on it 
So, the next one on the list is the fox one. So, this is the fox. So, for this one, it has three colors. And you really can tell that it is a fox because of all the three colors. I, ju I just am doubting the ear part of it. But I think it's okay like this. So, for this one, it has that type of eye. And when you put thunder holder, it looks like this. So, I have made a puppet using this character here in the past. And also, I have made a character purse. So, if you are interested, I have made some tutorials about making character purses from before. And if you want to check it out or try it out, I will put the playlist on the description box below. The next one is the Kero Kero inspired one. And just like the Hello Kitty, this one is an applique that you put at the center of the tumbler holder. It is not quite like that of the Kero Kero P, but uh, I think it turned out a little bit cute. For the blush of it, I used some pink uh, buttons for the eyes, also some black ones. And for this project, I am using most of the buttons that I have. So I really needed to buy more of them if I'm able to. The next one is Cookie Monster. So this is the ninth one. It turned out quite cute. It has a very uneven pupil on him. And this one is the cookie part and the mouth. You can really see it here. It has a very dark shade of blue in it. And I also use the pattern from the character purse to make this, to make the features for this one. So this is Cookie Monster. Some of them has a wider type of width to it. And some has shallower ones. So this is how it looks like when you put the tumbler inside. And then, I'm going to show you the three last ones next. Okay, for the Cookie Monster, I used some bumpy buttons I have stored. And these are the last ones that I have. So I really needed to buy more of this kind. So that if ever I'm going to make more of this, I can use those. Because you can't really use take the eyes on it because it will have a bump on the inside part. The tenth one is Bad Smaru. So this is from the Sanrio uh, cartoons that has Hello Kitty in it. So this is another character and this might be the quickest one that I have made pictures on because it involves the eyes and this uh, big part here. And also for this, the eyes, for the eyes, I use some black buttons. The overall part is just black. So this is how it looks like. It has a different version for the big part, but I really like this one better than the other one. The next one, since you really needed to have this character with all of your projects. So this is the bear. And for this one, for the eyes, I use some felt cloth so that it will look like that. It will be, it will have a solid look to it and it has ears. I was supposed to put something for the belly part, but I decided not to. I embroidered the snout part with a smile. And this is how it looks like with the tumbler on. The last one, or the twelfth one, is a Totoro-inspired one. So, this is using gray yarn for the overall. And just the last time I was able to put the tummy, I put the uh, buttons for the blush and felt cloth for the eyes. The other day, I added up these ears here, so it will really look like a Totoro. So that is the last of the tumbler holders that I want to show you guys. And I'm really excited to share this with you because it's some type of accomplishment for me. And these are the ones that I'm going to put on my shop if ever 
I'm able to open it and if ever the problem about the coronavirus will subside soon, I'm hoping. So to continue on, so I have been sewing also lately and the other time, um, Marius has been requesting me to make him some Ushanka hats. They are hats from Russia and I think they are used during winter uh, to keep the health warm. So he has been requesting for that. I'm thinking of making it out of crochet but I wasn't able to because I know that I wouldn't have enough yarn for it. And the other day he has been asking me again so I, we tried to work on one. I have cut the fabric and he was already sewing it. But we can't figure out yet how to make it. So the next day, I was able to find a tutorial about it online. And the one that I found is from Threadbammer. I will put the link on the description box below. It, it is about making a trapper hat or bomber hat that also looks like Ushanka hat. So, I have worked on that. I have uh, followed the pattern that he has from the video. And since he has the same measurement of a uh, hat or head, just like Marius, I decided just to follow the pattern that he has. So, I have drawn it on a piece of paper and that is my reference for the fabric that I got. So I was able to make them... Uh, Sophie and Marius one and they have been wearing it uh, They have been wearing it now and Since I wanted to make one for me also and to try it out once again I decided to make one for me out of some scrap fabrics with a variety of uh, a variety of fabric So this is how it looks like And for this one I used this type of fabric, the one that I used for Sophie's hat, and then I incorporated this fabric here. And this one is a denim type of fabric. So I made it a little bit different. For the tail ends, or for this uh, string here, these are just chains using uh, two, two yarns in it. So that is how it looks like and that is uh, the bomber hats this is my um, sample for the bomber hat that I made for Sophie and Marius and since uh, Daniel for Daniel I wanted to make something also I made him a uh, headwear a dino headwear using uh, colored paper but he has been using it and my brother-in-law requested uh, for another one using fabric. So I made him one using the felt cloth that I have lying around. The one that I used for uh, Toothless's eye. So I was, able to use, uh, I was able to saw that. And I have a picture on it. I have a picture of it on Instagram. It's kind of hard to take snaps of. Uh, Daniel wearing it because he moves a lot but I was able to take some pictures if you are interested and I also have a video of it as I'm working on it um, along with the sewing machine if you're interested please uh, do check that out the other day uh, Sophie brought to my attention a certain craft that he wants me to make her so I decided to work on it and I wanted, I was kind of frustrated at the start because I can't figure it out. But after, uh, after a while, I figured it out. I was just going to make an, a sample of it, uh, but I decided to work on it more since I kind of got interested in it. So those are these paper umbrellas here. This is the first one that I made, so it doesn't look that nice. And I use uh, some stick, some stick for it, but it calls for an, a paper for this stick part here. So this is the prototype that I have, and Sophie has been playing with this. So I decided to fold more of them, and after a while, decided to put them together. 
So this is how it looks like with paper for the stick part. What's cool about this is that you can fold it like this and when you push this not here, you can open it just like that. For this one, I cut it, cut the holes a little bit bigger so now it is torn out in a, in a way. But I still have two of it here. I really like how it turned out. So now I have two. So those are the projects that the kids and I have been making lately. Or I have been making lately. And the other day, Marius have been drawing this. He's really fond of drawing maps lately. And he made this one, which is the map of Yuru. And as you can see, these are the colors of the flag for that certain country there. It's really cool. He is he has a reference from the cell phone, but it's really nice that he is very interested with this stuff. The next that he wants to draw is Asia, but he's kind of having a hard time with it. So that is Maurice's drawing. And as you can see, I have made a different background. I used this uh, Red Riding Hood uh, picture here or drawing here. That is from this book that Miss uh, Grace gave me, the Fairy Tale Princesses and Storybook Darlings. This is from Hannah Lynn, and I have colored most of it for my part, but Sophie wasn't able to pick it up yet. It has two of each character, just like a Red Riding Hood. So I colored the first one, and I was hoping Sophie would color the other one. But he is very into Roblox lately that she wasn't able to pick it up. But she is also into drawing uh, some characters and their faces. So this is kind of cool that they have that hobby. I'm also making some time-lapse videos lately. I hope you guys don't mind. I really like to make some because it was not available from my past uh, cell phone. So I just... I'm experimenting with it and I think it's kind of cool since I can now insert uh, music in it using the uh, audios from the audio library of YouTube. It's kind of cool to learn new stuff every now and then and that is something new for me. And, and since I have been sewing lately, I have been asking mama for some fabric so she has uh, given me some of them here that I can experiment on. So these are the fabrics that she uh, gave me to experiment on. There's this one. Uh, these are the scraps of uh, fabric that she has left over from her past um, commission work. She has made uh, some seat cover for one of our neighbors. So she also gave me some denim ones. And she was trying to make some shorts out of it, but she wasn't able to push through with it, so she gave it to me. This is the sample of shorts that she made. I'm not really confident on making garments yet, but I'm hoping to learn. Uh, so for this one, I can also use this uh, fabric here for certain things. And there's this one. And then we have some other ones. So I'm also hoping to continue experimenting with some crumb quilts. Uh, Miss Jen has suggested for me to make a quilted skirt and some quilted curtains. I don't know about the skirt because I don't usually wear one. But I think I can make some uh, quilted curtains for my window or for my background. So those are the fabrics that I want to show you guys. I also have some time-lapse videos of me frogging my past uh, projects. I braved myself to do so uh, because I really needed really to reclaim the yarn. I really have to. Um, and I have seen Miss, I, Miss Incha of I Am She. She has also reclaimed yarn from a project that she has made. Uh, which is a very long type of scarf 
and she made um crochet item out of it so that's what i've been doing lately i also have a video of me making one of the rainbow hope the ones that i made we have we already put on our windows and i have also sent some of them for my sister and my sister-in-law and i think they also have put them on their doors or at their gates so those are things that i want to share with you guys i'm a bit more cautious on using my uh, yarn since i don't have much yet and i'm trying to make some online purchases but wasn't able to because the courier they are focusing more on the essential goods so i'm hoping that it will clear up soon so that i can buy more yarn so i'm still into watching some anime films and after watching one i'm deciding to search for another one to watch and some of the anime films i have watched are arieti and then Princess Kaguya, that has a very deep uh, plot to it. Another one that I would suggest for you guys to watch is House Moving Castle. It has a very interesting plot to it and I really like the characters. So those are the anime films that I've been watching lately. Although recently I discovered uh, the new season of Doc Martin. So I have been binge watching it and I have watched it for two days because it has eight episodes to it so i am i am updated with that one so for my future projects i have already started on them and they are this uh, character process so i have been making the features of it and putting them inside this base part here so once again if you are interested on making some of the character process i will put the links of my tutorials on the description box below so i think those are most of it i want to make a video of one of the tags that has been uh, around the community our yarn community which is the 23 questions from miss bailey of the crafty floridian and i also want to incorporate with that some there's this isolation snacks tag from uh, Ella of No Catchy Name. So I also want to incorporate that into one video. So as to have a different type of video to show you guys. So I think those are most of it. I'm quite uh, shocked or surprised in a way to know that an actor from 84 Charing Cross is in the doc martin series which is ian mcneese he is the one character called bert large bert large from doc martin so i recognized him from 84 charing cross the movie that i have been re-watching for a while now so i think those are most of it i'm gonna let you go now i have been rambling so today here it is sunny once again although there are times like yesterday or yesterday afternoon that it has rained. So I'm hoping that we can catch some rain once in a while so that our dam will be filled and we don't we won't have some water shortage during the summer. So those are most of it. I'm hoping that you guys are staying safe and keeping busy with all of the crafts that you have. Um so thank you for watching my videos and keeping up with me so i think those are most of it um i'm looking forward to have a visit with you soon so that's it for me bye for now